Good morning, I'm Alex Witt, and welcome to MSNBC Sunday, where it's just past 11 a.m. here in the East, 8 out west. Let's get to what's happening right now out there. We're following breaking news this morning. The U.S. military is calling an overnight aerial bombardment on Libya's defenses a success. Admiral Mike Mullen tells NBC News there is effectively a no-fly zone in place in Libya. Warships and subs launched more than 140 cruise missiles at anti-aircraft units and command posts, and there's new criticism of the strikes by the head of the Arab League. League. That is a group that called on the U.N. to take action initially. The Arab League says that the bombing is causing civilian casualties. And a battled leader, Muammar Gaddafi, issued an audio address on state TV saying Libya was prepared for a long war. Now, NBC's Jim Maceda has been covering this story for a live for us out of Libya's capital city of Tripoli. And Jim, I understand you've got some new information here on the aftermath in Benghazi to report? I do. Uh, first of all, I'd like to just mention that uh, something significant as well happening in another flashpoint. You know, we've been talking about how quiet it has been in all these key areas like Benghazi, like Misrata and other places. Well, we understand now that there is fighting in the center of Misrata. That's a, a large town, Libya's third largest, uh, about 100 miles to the east of us here in Tripoli. We were, uh, we, there are reports. Uh, sources are saying that it's pro Qaddafi forces that have actually entered the center again. You know, it's a town that they encircled about two weeks ago and have been pounding with, uh, with mostly with artillery shells. Uh, but that had eased off over a few days. Now that is happening again, obviously uh, a violation of the uh, UN Security Council resolution. Yes, in terms of Benghazi, also important information coming out now. And that is that it looks like the pro Qaddafi forces have pulled back. It's it's impossible to say from our perch here, obviously, how far that is. But we understand that uh, there are scenes of devastation left by the French attacks yesterday, which did trigger this pullback. Uh, scenes of, of burnt out tanks, as many as 14, at least uh, 20 armored personnel carriers, some of them uh, flattened on this road from Benghazi back to Ajdabia, that town about 80 miles south that we've been talking about so much over the past couple of weeks. Many bodies as well strewn along that highway, impossible to identify many of them. And also, it was it's a bit eerie to, to, to even talk about, there are rebels now coming out, uh, leaving, venturing forward out of Benghazi, going back towards Ajdabiya, bringing their families along and celebrating along this route, taking pictures of the devastation. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very strange uh, scene. Uh, and I'll throw it back to you. Yeah, no, I can about imagine. Let me ask you about the uh, push back on the strikes, especially from the Arab League, Jim. What are you hearing about that? That's right. There has been pushback already, and it's happening because of the number of civilian casualties, which again can't be independently verified, that are now in the 30s or 40s. Hmm. Okay, looks like our signal went down there with Jim. Uh, Jim there in, in Tripoli. Okay, Jim Maceda, thank you very much for that report. We'll get back to him when we can. Let's get a bit NBC News has learned that Muammar Gaddafi is trying to make it appear as if the U.S. and coalition forces have killed civilians in Libya, something they deny. NBC's Jim Mikoshevsky is live at the Pentagon for us. So, so, Mick, I guess what's happening here is he's being accused of actually moving bodies? Well, at least the order had gone out. It's not clear yet that they've actually done it. Uh, but according to U.S. intelligence officials, uh, the chief of staff for Muammar Gaddafi, uh, Bashir Sali, had reportedly, had reportedly put out the order to the Libyan military to gather up bodies from morgues and hospital uh, and take them to a fresh bomb site, just bombed yesterday by coalition forces at Bab al Azizia, and, and spread the bodies out over. Over the bomb site and then take some of the international media there in Tripoli to that site in an effort to prove that the US military and coalition forces were committing atrocities against uh, Libyan civilians with these airstrikes it's not clear that that has been done we heard Jim Maceda say earlier that uh, he had not or the international media had not yet been invited to do that uh, but uh, uh, you know in any kind of military conflict like this you expect some some attempts uh, at propaganda, and this appears to be one of them. Now that the word is out, uh, perhaps that they'll, they're going to dial that back and not try to attempt this ruse anyway.